What's up guys, Johnny here with Team Legit. I'm really excited to bring you guys another really cool product. I've been flying FPV for about four years now and um, I've tried all the different types of uh, components and different FPV gear and whenever I see something new and cool I'm one of those oh shiny toy guys and I gotta go out there and grab whatever it is and give it a shot for myself. Uh, so I'm gonna be bringing you guys a lot of new products in the next couple weeks that I've gotten myself uh, to show you guys. Uh, today I'm really excited about this product. Last week I showed you guys the laser brushes gimbal 2.4 gigahertz receiver module for the Dominator goggles. Um, my my receiver that I received worked okay uh, with the circular polarized antennas. It didn't work that good, uh, but with my directional antenna, I was able to get uh, quite a bit of range. But today is not about the laser brushes gimbal 2.4 module or the Dominator goggles. Now a lot of people use the Dominator goggles because of the compatibility of the or the modular system where you can plug in a 2.4 gigahertz module or say a 5.8 gigahertz module but you guys have those issues with um, eyesight and you know whatnot and the goggles just don't work for you you get nauseous or whatnot well today's product is the laser brushes gimbal USB composite video modular receiver system now this is really cool and exciting because what it basically allows you to do is plug the USB device into your computer and now you have a modular capture device. You can use your computer, your laptop monitor to view your FPV and you can also record straight to your computer. So today we're going to do a, a quick demonstration of this and its capabilities. So let's get right into it. So a lot of you guys are used to the modular design of the goggles. So you basically pop the cap off and you can plug in the different modules like 5.8, 2.4, and 1.3. Uh, Laser Brushes Gimbal makes the two and the 1.3 modules. I don't have the 1.3 modules to show you. I lent it to a friend. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing as this. It just picks up in the 1.3 frequency. What this little module does is basically allows you to have the capabilities of your goggles, however, into a computer. So uh, I've got a Mac here, and I've, um, and I've been using Mac for the last about six or seven months. Uh, it's really good for video editing and things like that. But uh, I wanted to show you how the module works. All right, so uh, let's get this thing plugged in. I'm going to show you guys on the 5.8 gigahertz module because I've got my whiteout quadcopter here, and uh, this one has the Immersion RC uh, 600 milliwatt video transmitter, and this is pretty popular with everybody. Um, one thing that I'm going to mention is I'm using a, a right turn circular polarized re uh, antenna on my quad and a left hand polarized antenna on my uh, receiver. These are the new GZ left hand polarized antennas. If you guys haven't checked them out, make sure you do that on our website. Uh, normally these will not talk very well to each other, but since we're in close proximity, it's not going to matter. We're going to go ahead and start the capture device on my Mac. Now, one of the apps that I really like to use for video capture is QuickTime, and it works really well with the Mac. So what we're going to do is we're going to start two. One, I'm going to start the QuickTime screen capture so you guys can see what it is and uh, on my computer and then I'll also start a uh, actual movie recording on the QuickTime. Okay, so I've got the video capture device plugged into my USB port. I've got it on the correct channel here and I'm going to be using my mini quad here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and plug my mini quad into the, uh, plug my mini quad up so we can get a valid video transmission into the receiver. Now I've already confirmed that channel 5 is already recording. So we've got that set up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into my computer. Again, I'm using the MacBook with the uh, latest OS X. Um, and we're going to go ahead and use QuickTime. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the QuickTime uh, app. So I've got QuickTime here. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll over to New Movie Recording. And the first thing that comes up is my FaceTime. So as you can see, uh, now we're recording a FaceTime. But we're going to change the capture device to USB 2.0 PC camera. So as you can see, the second I do that, I've got a live video image. And as you can see, my quadcopter is transmitting to the, to the 5.8 gigahertz module that's plugged into my USB port. So now I can just go ahead and click record. And now I have a recording of a recording. So basically, my computer is recording my live video feed. So I basically got a DVR, and I've also got a live video out. Now this may be good and bad for some people. Um, some people like to take their computer out to uh, use Mission Planner or use um, different uh, flight control software and things like that, or they want to do some tuning. So if you've already got your computer out, you can take 
your video capture device with you and actually use it as your FPV monitor. See what happens if we change the channels on my device. As you can see it went to blue screen and we've got the video image back. I'm going to go ahead and take the antenna off of the receiver. You don't want to take it off of the transmitter but I'll take it off of the receiver just to see what happens when my video signal gets degraded. So I'm going to go ahead and walk around the corner and see what happens. So as you can see I've got my quadcopter outside and uh, sitting on the wall. The video image is definitely flickering and it is cutting out quite a bit as you can see. Um, however it's not going blue screen which is very important. You don't want your uh, video capture device to go blue screen. So what it's doing is just basically flickering. And as you can see, I've moved the quadcopter as far back as possible, and you can see that it's trying its very, very best to keep the device, but once the image actually goes out to where it is not usable, it does blue screen. So my initial thoughts of the new modular system is that it's pretty cool actually. Um, it's very versatile. You can plug this into your laptop, into your ground station, and capture your video device directly from there. Use your laptop monitor as a display device. A couple things that I did note is this module gets very hot when you plug it into the USB. I had it plugged in for about five to six minutes and it was pretty warm. Um, so make sure there's proper airflow uh, moving over the two devices. Both the actual capture device and the receiver got pretty warm. Um, the quality of the build is pretty good. It's got really nice solder points. I didn't see any sloppy soldering or anything like that. The buttons are good. They're very uh, easy to push and uh, they have a good response feel to them. They do feel a little bit weak on the board, but again, with a device like this, you want to make sure you're uh, gentle with it. The 3.5mm uh, video out cable here, I'll go ahead and test that out within the next couple days as well too. The LED is a great touch so you can actually see what channel you're on. That's actually pretty neat. And uh, I'll try to figure out what that little modular slider is for and let you guys know. Uh, using with the Mac, go ahead and use it. It's pretty plug and play. I didn't have to download any drivers for any software. Just plugged it in and it worked great. Um, I'll go ahead and also test it out and let you guys know my feedback on a Windows PC, which I doubt there's going to be any issues, uh, but I will let you guys know that in the next couple days or so. Uh, overall, I like this new module and uh, big props to Laser Brush and Skimble for coming up with really cool and ingenuitive new products in the FPV field. Also for being a competitor for the 2.4, 1.3, and 5.8 gigahertz modules. I think that's great that you guys are uh, doing that to the market. Um, overall, I like this new product and I will be carrying this in the Team Legit store. Actually, I'll be carrying both of these very, very soon. Um, waiting for a couple more beta tests on this and to get a final revision. It's not performing to our specs right now for the 2.4 module, but we'll have the final product carried in the store as soon as we do get this. These, I should have a shipment coming in very soon, so don't forget to check out team-legit.com if you hadn't had a chance yet. I'll leave the links in the description below. Uh, also, if you guys haven't had a chance yet, make sure you check out CSFPV. Patrick over there has some really cool FPV-related apparel. Make sure you guys support him. And um, if you guys like seeing these reviews and the new and exciting products, Make sure you guys click the like button. If you have any questions for me, uh, don't forget to leave that in the comments below. And as always, I'm Johnny with Team Legit. Thanks for watching. We got the regular Dominator third generation, Dominator V2. And we're going to refer to this one as.